Let's do Vincent. Hi, honey. It's me. You'll have to be a little bit more specific than that. Are you bigger, bigger than a bread box? Are you my husband, my son, my dentist, or my lover? That's cute. Really. Damn it, Sammy. What the fuck? So, there's something I want to talk to you about. That's why people usually call other people Lance Bass. Lance Bass, what do you want? Well, I wanted to give you the opportunity to explain yourself. What? Well, for starters, you've been acting awfully strange lately. What? Me? You've got some nerve. Whoa, whoa. Listen, this isn't about me. It's about you. You're looking at my personal files, checking up on my office staff. It's as if suddenly you don't trust me or something. That is usually the most idiotic. And then it dawned on me. This wasn't a problem until you started spending time with that friend of yours. That man's always sticking his nose in where it doesn't belong. On top of that, I don't trust him. He's up to something. And I think you know exactly who I'm talking about. That's no way to talk about Vincent. Oh, please. There's something about that guy that doesn't sit right with me. Sometimes he's a class act. Other times, he behaves like a common criminal. By the way, next time it's going to be um, Eric that I'm going to choose. Last time I had chosen um, Lance Bass as being like, that's no way to talk about yourself. So, I've even heard some people say that he has ties with the mob. Do you believe that? I'm sorry, but I don't believe a word you're saying. Actually, yes, I do. It's possible, but that doesn't necessarily make him a bad person. How can you say that? He's a shady character. And your friendship with him, if you can even call it that, puts everyone around you in danger. Don't you care about us? So, I'm putting my foot down about this. I don't want you to have any more contact with him. There's nothing else to say. Anyway, I have to get back to work, and, uh, I probably won't be home until you're asleep. Goodbye. Fuck you. Piece of shit. Hate your fucking face. And that's Vincent. Hey. Did you get that thing I sent you? I like his voice. He has a pretty sexy voice, not gonna lie. Oh, sure, I got the package, and guess what? My husband found a way to avoid all the questions I asked about it. If you mean the package, then yes, I did. Yes, I most certainly did, but I have to say, I don't know what it's supposed to mean to me. You probably have a lot of questions right now. Luckily, I happen to know a lot of answers, but they're the kind of things I need to tell you in person. I was thinking, tonight around 8.30... I'll come over to your place. I assume you'll be able to get rid of your husband long enough for us to talk in private. Yeah, consider him taken care of. Oh, a diversion won't be necessary. He's been making it a point to avoid me lately. If it's really that important, I'll see what I can do. I know this is sudden. I hope my visit doesn't upset your plans too much. Of course not. You'll be our guest dinner for the evening. Dinner guest, I'm sorry. It's not that big of a deal. I can push back dinner until after you arrived. I'll have to postpone dinner a bit, but Nick Carter shouldn't mind. Good. You can expect me at 8.30. I'll see you then. Cool. So he's going to come to dinner. And uh, we're going to have a little talk. And the next time it's going to be Eric. Oh, there's so much time before then. Alright, we'll see you guys at 8.30. Alright, we're starting the cooking fucking thing doesn't like stop working that'd be cool honestly I can make it as shitty if I want and I've actually been drinking so I'm really surprised that so far it's going so great but you know what else is new I'm always drinking that's actually not true only on weekends today is a Thursday and I'm have work really late tomorrow, so it works in my favor. I'm happy. Hope you all are too. Can't wait to see what happens with Vincent. I haven't really seen that yet. Or at least I haven't seen it in a while. Because there was a time where I actually recorded like everything Desperate Housewives from like all of the break ins to all the sleeping with other men and all that stuff, and it got deleted because my laptop fucking broke. Here we go. A plus. Fuck yeah. Serve. Alright, where's Vinny? Should be at the door. Let's see. I think I saw his fucking face. Yeah, there he is. Alright, let's open the door for him.
Whereas Nick Carter is just gonna go ahead and start eating. Ooh, I should make food for tomorrow. Oh, I'm also doing laundry. Dude, I am so productive right now. I'm so proud of myself. Calm down, Vinny, I'm coming. Jesus. Hey. Hello. We have a lot we need to talk about. Get in here, you. I've been thinking about you all day. Come right in, Vincent. I've been expecting you. Hey, you're here. Let's make this quick. I don't know when my husband's gonna get home. Dinner was excellent. My compliments to the chef. Why, thank you, Vincent. You're more than welcome. It was the least I could do. Oh, this is just a little something I threw together. Yeah, I guess I should let you two go ahead and do your thing. Do what? Talk amongst yourselves. Discuss. Catch up on old times. Whatever it is that people around your age do. I have some friends of mine I'm hanging out with tonight anyways. Later. Not so fast, Nick Carter. Calm down. He's a young man. I'm sure he has important things to do, right? Yeah. I have things to do and people to see, too. How dare he? You can leave. I, and when I say he, I mean Vince. That's He's my son. He's not your fucking son. You can leave, but make sure you're back before midnight. Fine, go. The only reason I'm letting you go is because Vince in here, who's a gentleman, decides to stick up for you. Make sure you're home by midnight. Cool. Thanks. I'm out of here. Uh, Vin... Uh, Mr. Corsetti, you should hang out around here more often. Teenagers are an interesting bunch, don't you think? Oh, man. He's gonna love it when I choose him. If by interesting you mean troublesome, then yes. They are, and thank goodness I only have one, or I would have pulled my, out my hair with all the interesting dilemmas they put you through. Yeah, but your son's a man whore, so that's something completely different. Yeah, but you and he seem to really connect. What can I say? I usually get along pretty well with kids. Great, that makes one of us. That's good to hear, but I know you didn't come to make friends with my teenage son, so what's up? Enough about him, though. Didn't you have something important to tell me? Yeah, there are some things I've been meaning to talk to you about. First off, I know you've been talking with Eric Larson. And I want to set things straight with you. Good luck. Okay, I'm listening. All right, go for it. For some time now, Eric's been holding a grudge against me over something that happened a long time ago. You're going to have to do a lot better than that if you want me to believe you, Vin. I want details. And what was that? Eric doesn't seem like the type to hold a grudge. The details aren't really that important. All you really need to know is that he's using his job as an FIB investigator. To harass me, as well as my associates. Oh my god. And he'll tell you anything to get you on his side. I'm telling you, you can't trust that guy. Such a load of shit. Anyways, I'll take that into consideration, Vincent. Is that all you had to say? Well, you definitely given me some food for thought, but couldn't you have told me that over the phone? Maybe I'm being too literal here, but I thought you were coming over to talk about what you sent me. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, and about that package... Have you figured out why I had it sent yet? I wouldn't be asking about it. I have a good idea, but why don't you tell me? No, I haven't. Why don't you stop playing games and just tell me? Seriously! Nope. Care to fill me in? There were three items inside the box. A sonogram, a photo, and a journal. The photo is of your husband's first wife. Before her untimely passing, of course. Lance Bass never told me about any other women, let alone any other wives. He killed his first wife? That's who that was? His ex-wife? I kind of want to do this. It sounds funny. I don't know her name, but she's the one that he refers to in the journal before she dies under his care. And I assume the sonogram was just a memento of your son's birth. I seem to remember there was something else in the box. Okay, so you cover the first three things, but there were four items in that box. All right, I guess that just leaves a stack of documents about amnesia. What? Wait a minute. There was something else in there? God damn it. Leo is such an idiot. I specifically told him to... What did you make that face for? Something wrong? Leo, are you still keeping that guy around? I thought he'd be sleeping with the fishies by now. Um, sorry. One of my associates must have accidentally put some paperwork from the pharmaceutical branch into the package. It's nothing to be concerned about. I apologize for the mix-up, and I think it's actually sleep with the fishes, not fishies. But that's besides the point. I'm sure you need some time to digest all this. 
But before I go, do you have any questions? And here comes my husband, here to bust us. Fan-fucking-tastic. But one day he's early. Takes his time coming over. I could have hid Vincent under the stove or, like, cabinet by now. Hey, uh, I ran into our son in the driveway and he said that we had a guest over for dinner. What's going on here? Please, sit down. There's plenty of leftovers. Oh, that ballsy, ballsy asshole. Vincent Corsetti. What the hell are you doing in my house? Please, call me Mr. Corsetti. I can think of a couple of things I'd like to call you. Oh, really, Lance Bass? Like what? That's enough, you two. Now things are getting interesting. If you don't mind, Vincent, I want to talk to my wife. To be honest, it doesn't look like she wants to talk to you. Actually, you know what? I would like to talk with him. It was nice talking to you, Vincent. Good night. No, I don't, but given that this is the first time that he's come home at a reasonable hour, and he is my husband and all, I guess I can make the sacrifice. To be honest, I would much rather spend time with my husband than waste any second with the likes of you. You do remember where the door is, don't you, Vincent? Oh, I would love to select that because he's a fucking asshole, but... Uh, no. I'm in love with Vincent in this episode. Maybe it's about time I leave. Sounds like the two of you have a lot to talk about. And oh, don't forget what I told you. You folks have a good evening. What the hell is he even doing here at this hour? Oh, please. What are you gonna do about it? Funny, I was just about to ask you the same thing. We were just talking. I'm still allowed to do that, aren't I? Who do you think you're talking to? Since we don't really talk anymore, I can't say. You're a stranger to me now. A lying sneak? I'm talking to my dear, wonderful husband, the same man who keeps deep, dark secrets from me and expects me to look the other way and never question him. Fuck Rhea. In any relationship, conflict is inevitable. Whether it be the simple act of more than one person wanting the same thing... or more complicated needs among friends and neighbors. I don't get them. They make no sense to me. Conflict surrounds us all. Ooh. But when it comes to the severity of consequences, the battles between a husband and a wife Leave them all behind. That look on Eric's face, he was pissed. There's a lot you don't know about the men sitting in this room. Ask them whatever you want. Given the circumstances, it's in their best interest to answer honestly. Alright, um, like I said before, I've already done this. I'll include the um, episode down below in the comment section. Or, not the comment section. In the description. So if you guys want to watch it, go for it. I'm going to skip over it until the part where I have to choose, okay? Okay, I actually forgot about this part. He asks us to shoot someone. Last time I shot Eric, and I want to end up with Vinny, so I'll shoot my husband. That's my girl. It's good to see a little flash of that dark side I fell in love with. But don't worry. You won't be killing anyone tonight. Come on, Vin. You can't just tie up a woman's husband and then hand her an unloaded gun. That's just not right. What the hell did he do to you? You never behaved this way before. Yeah. I don't even recognize you. It's, it's like you're a completely different person. What's your problem? Watch it, pal. That gun wasn't loaded this time. But next time, all bets are off. What are you talking about, Vincent? I can't believe it. You just tried to shoot me. Why? Trying to shoot someone is different from actually doing it, Lance Bass. You're just overreacting. Ooh! That's what he told us earlier, that we were overreacting. I kind of want to choose that, but let's see what our other options are. Please, sweetie, you deserved it with the way you've been acting towards me. You just don't get it, do you, Lance Bass? No, you, you're just overreacting. He says that to me all the fucking time. Are you really going to stand there and try to justify what you just did? You just tried to kill your husband. And the father of your only child. 
Yup. I cannot believe you would make that kind of a decision. It, it just doesn't make sense. Have you even thought about what you'll do after this? I mean, what's going to happen to our son? Are you just going to leave him here while you're out cavorting with this nut job and doing the Bonnie to his Clyde thing? I don't know. Life on the run. Women on the side. Danger lurking around every corner. It sounds kind of cool. Hell yeah, that's my boy! When your mom walks out of here on my arm, you'll be a Corsetti. And when it comes to women, Corsettis always get what they want. How does that sound to you? Well, my boy's a fuckboy, so he'll love that. I'm not sure, but it sounds cool to me. Yeah, you'll get your dick sucked at every corner. No son of mine is going to run around with a common criminal. You've got to put a stop to this. Right now. Oh, don't stress about that. I haven't even decided if I want to keep him around or not. Who says we're taking him with us? I'll take him with me and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Fuck no, I don't want that bitch around. Wait a minute. What do you mean by that? <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. Chances are, <laughs> chances are you'll end up being dead weight, in which case you'd be better off dead. Fuck yeah. I'm just kidding, Nick Carter. Don't get yourself all worked up. Oh, I kind of want to be like a bitch about it and be like, huh, nothing, nothing at all. But a part of me wants to give it to him straight. No, fuck you. Die. What? All they do is treat me like shit. Fuck you. Do you know what you're saying? Yeah, my family treats me like shit. At this point, I don't know what more I can tell you. I already came clean with you about everything. Everything. What else do you want from me? Nothing. Just die or leave me alone. There isn't anything else you need to tell her. You've done all you can. Right now, all we can do is hope that she comes to her senses before it's too late. You picked an interesting target. Was there any particular reason you chose one over the other? He's a jerk. And he's a liar. He's a liar. Is that so? Well, don't worry. You won't have that problem with me. Except Vincent's a liar. I like the sound of that, Vincent. You better not disappoint me. Even with all you know about me, you still sound unconvinced. Care to take a test drive? You know me, Vinny. I'm always looking to sample new things, or in this case, classic things. I'll meet you upstairs. You can't be serious. Now? You're going to have sex with this lunatic now? In our bedroom? Hell yeah, it's gonna be hot as fuck. Well, we're bound to chairs in the living room. What the hell? Lance Bass, calm the fuck down. Stop for a moment. Think about your family. Think about your future. I hate my family, and my future is serving my family, which I hate. No. Let her go. Thank you. She's doing what she has to, in order to get what she wants. Isn't that right, Mary? Yes, and right now what I want is wearing a designer Italian suit, but not for long. What do you say we head upstairs? Your son should be able to take care of our guests while we're... Indisposed. Mm. Keep a close eye on the both of them, especially Larson. Don't hesitate to let him have it if he makes a move. Uh, Mom, can I talk to you for a minute? Alone? Fine. Fine, but make it quick. I have some important business to attend to. The fuck you want? Listen, I know this looks bad, but I know what I'm doing. You know, Mom, bad doesn't even begin to describe it. You're about to bang a mob boss with Dad tied up in the living room. I, I may be a clueless teenager, but even I know something is really wrong with the situation. Promise me you won't do anything with that scumbag. Alright, here's what I have in mind. Of course I'm going to sleep with Vincent. He's a real man, not like your father. Besides, I have to test drive the merchandise before I buy it. Oh, Mom, that's gross. But then again... I really don't go for the temperamental 40-year-old mob boss type. And I, I really didn't think my boring mother would either. Ditching Dad and Agent Larson sounds like a plan, though. Especially if you're taking me with you. I don't want him to come! And come to think of it, Eric was probably bluffing about the whole life-on-the-run thing anyways. He's as pathetic as Dad. I'm not worried at all. Vincent will be taking care of us from now on. It doesn't matter. Pretty soon we'll be long gone and worry-free. There's no reason to be concerned. Vinny and I are going upstairs and talk. We'll be back soon, but hopefully not too soon. And I take it you want me to stay down here and hold the fort while you're upstairs getting your freak on with Fairview's Most Wanted. Yeah, you think you can do that? Yep, that sounds about right. When you say it like that, you make it sound so shallow and tawdry. Standing guard down here shouldn't be a problem. Just do me a favor and try not to be too loud. You might wake the neighbors. And I really don't want to hear what you two are doing. 
One last thing, though. Okay, shoot. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Are you sure you want to be with this guy? Yep. All right. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Oh, I do. Let's go, Vincent. Let's go fuck. He's actually really cute. He has a baby face, and I love baby faces. Oof. Yes. What the hell? Oh, fuck. That sounded like a gunshot. Vincent, what was that? Was that what I think it was? You know what? That could have been anything. A car backfiring, champagne cork popping, someone getting shot. No need to worry until we know the details. <laughs> now, where were we? How can you expect me to even think about sex at a time like this? What if someone's bleeding to death downstairs? Actually, we were at the part where we both go downstairs to find out what the hell just happened. Fine, you do whatever you want. I'm gonna go check on my son. Why do you care about your son? He's a shit. Alright then, fine. Let's go downstairs and see what the hell's going on. Oh my god, what did you do? Oh no, he's my favorite. I didn't have a choice. He, he was moving. Yeah, he shifted a bit, but, but why did you shoot him? What if he had a gun or something? I was just protecting us. Come on! What kind of threat was he with his arms and legs tied up? He did the right thing. With a trained agent like that, who knows what he was capable of. Hardly a threat at all, really. You didn't have to shoot him, Nick Carter. Nick Carter wouldn't have done it if he wasn't a threat. Don't listen to your father. You did the right thing. Eric Larson was a delusional sicko. You did us all a favor, trust me. I was only doing what you told me to. You did good, son. Tell me, how did it feel to take someone's life? Oh, this is so bad. Feel? When you shot him, what did that feel like? It was kind of a rush. It felt good. Oh my god. At a boy, that feeling of knowing you have power over someone's very existence is a thrill in and of itself. Who the fuck thinks like this? And believe me, it never gets old. But you'll find that out in due time. Once we tie up all of our loose ends and make our way out of here. Shoot Lance Bass too. Lance Bass strikes me as a squealing type. You should probably see to it that he doesn't get a chance to run his mouth to anyone. If you're implying that Lance Bass is the loose end, he seems to be tied up already. Now that Eric's been taken care of, what's left? That's actually not a bad idea. If you'll excuse me for a moment, your husband and I need to have a little talk about some things. That I don't mind. Eric, I do. I, I feel bad about Eric. What? What do you mean? That can't be true. It just can't. Guess Fairview has to find a new doctor in town. Come on. Would I lie to you? Damn it, Vinny. Just shoot him and get it over with. Would you lie to him about what? What are the two of you talking about? I've always liked how you think. I think I'll do that. No, don't. You can't. What did I ever do to deserve this? You have to stop him. Oh, now your sense of morality comes back, does it? Great timing. It didn't bother you when you were lying to me about everything for all those years. You can, and you should. Vinny, just get it over with already. We need to get out of here. You sadistic bastard! Don't think you'll get away with any of this. They'll find you, and you'll pay for everything you've done today. Everything! If you really want to do this, if you really want to kill me, then go right ahead. Pull that trigger and prepare to spend the rest of your life either living on the run or rotting away in a jail cell. Let me tell you something. I'm not really much for running. Or getting caught. It's really not my style. I think I prefer the whole getting away with murder route. Oh yeah? Well, killing me in front of my wife and son is never going to work. They'll never forgive you and they'll never forget. Your family. Please. She was never your wife. And he was never your son. Goodbye. Fuck you, bitch. Die. When faced with tough decisions, one is often forced to make sacrifices. Some of us choose to leave the comfort and stability that is the hallmark of our existence. Some Aww. make the decision to walk away from the status quo. Poor Eric. While others choose to forgive past misdeeds, no matter how great, in pursuit of an elusive form of happiness. 
for without 2020 hindsight, we will never know if our choice is the right one. With time, effort, and the support of our friends and neighbors, we will always find some way to be at peace with our decisions. All right, so that was the Vince ending. Now there are two more endings, one where we just go away with our son and one with Eric, which is my favorite.